Again, uh, Heidi and Shane will egress from the station airlock. They will translate up uh, along the seat of spur, the handrails you see flashing here, onto the forward face of the truss, down to the, toward the port side of the truss where the seat of cart is located and uh, with the MT. You'll see that those seat of carts and MT are just a little bit further port now than they were on the last EVA. Heidi and Shane will both translate out to the seat of carts. They will move the starboard most seat of cart first uh, to get a little bit out of the way. They'll disconnect uh, the other seat of cart and pull it down into position for pickup. Shane will then uh, guide uh, Don Pettit, our arm operator, to fly the arm up to him. He'll reconfigure that APFR that Heidi left uh, in place at the end of EVA-1. Uh, then reposition the arm so that he can ingress that uh, foot restraint and that's where he'll be to carry the uh, seat of carts from the starboard side of the MT over to the port side. Heidi will come over, release the uh, wheel bogies that attach that cart to the rail, help guide uh, Shane away from the rails and then Don will carry Shane over to the port side of the cart. Heidi will position the second seat of cart for pickup and then she will translate over to the port side, meet Shane there, help guide uh, the seat of cart onto the rails, and then uh, secure the wheel bogies in place to attach it to the rails, and then she'll roll it uh, down and attach it to the MT. Don will fly Shane back over to the starboard side of the MT, where he will pick up the second seat of cart. Heidi will translate back and meet him over there. Now, Heidi may have a little bit of time between uh, during these arm translations, so we have some get-aheads for her. Uh, we can. Uh, now, if we have time allowing, we can stage a bag with our Sarge tools down at the starboard Sarge in preparation for that work. And here we see Shane bringing the, uh, the second seat of cart over to the port side. Heidi is meeting, the, meeting him there to secure that seat of cart. And then she will roll it down, attach it to uh, the other seat of cart, and now we'll have uh, the MT and seat of carts in a good configuration for S6 installation on 15A. Then Shane will egress the foot restraint. He'll remove that foot restraint from the arm and install it on the uh, portmost seat of cart. He'll ingress. This has him pointing uh, straight down uh, nadir, looking at the earth. Don will reconfigure the arm and fly it up underneath him. And this will allow Shane access to perform the uh, snare looping task. Well, here's some NBL video of Shane training for this task. We see him here using the straight nozzle grease gun and reaching just inside um, the latching end effector to apply grease to those uh, bearings on the ends of those snares. While he's doing that, Heidi will translate out to the Sarge and resume work out at the uh, starboard Sarge. And we will stay out there for the remainder of EVA 2. The Sarge will be rotated uh, between EVAs 1 and 2 to an angle of 60 degrees. So you can see on this graphic the areas that are shown in red are the areas that we uh, plan to have cleaned on EVA-1. They are now rotated beneath the drive lock assemblies uh, on the upper left and lower left side of the graphic. The areas that you see in blue are the areas that uh, Heidi and Shane will be working on during EVA-2. Uh, the first area Heidi will go to is uh, the cover 9 and 10 area. She'll just remove those covers. We will now have dirty race ring that have been rotated up under there because of the uh, rotation from 105 to 60 degrees. So Heidi will clean that section of race ring and then install a clean trundle bearing. You see there's a cover eight is a kind of a dotted line in blue. That, uh, that one kind of depends on if we get cover 11. If Heidi's able to, cut, to clean cover 11 at the end of EVA 1, then she will not have to do cover eight at the beginning of EVA 2. If, uh, if not, we'll, we'll uh, clean under that cover at the beginning of EVA 2. When Heidi's complete with that area under covers uh, 9 and 10, she will then move over to phase 2. That's the upper left section of this graphic. She'll remove cover 5. This is a large cover over a DLA 1. And she'll also remove cover 4. This exposed trundle bearings assemblies 8 and 9. Now the trundle bearing 9, the upper trundle bearing assembly, the race ring under that trundle bearing is clean already from the, the previous EVA 1 cleaning, so she just has to change out that trundle bearing. Over on the trundle bearing 8 side, she'll clean and lube that section of race ring and then change out trundle bearing 8. Uh, while she is working on that, uh, Shane uh, should be completed with the lubrication of the uh, Lee snares, and he will train, meet her out at the uh, starboard Sarge, and he'll go to work in the cover 11 and 12 area and uh, clean and lube under those covers and replace trundle bearing 12.